Good evening, everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, I just wanted to share the uh, Ghostbuster guitar is in the drawing phase. <laughs> I think it's going to be really cool. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the front of the guitar. And of course, the ghost is going to be white. And it's going to be red with the no ghost. And then white. And these are just mock up parts. These aren't the parts I'm going to use. I'm going to use a similar bridge, but. I might paint the pickup red, EMG pickup, um, active pickup, and I might paint the knob white to match it to blend in more. But yeah, it's going to be black, and then then I actually might do a little bit of dremeling, like a little bit of contouring, like just you know just make a little lines in the wood like that, so it just gives the illusion of being 3D without actually shaping it. I'm not going to make it 3D. Uh, <clears throat> And this is more or less the neck I'm going to use for right now, unless I find a better neck. Because uh, I really like the shape of this, this neck, and I might use it on a different guitar. But I've got a bunch of necks on the way. I think I've got a total of six that are coming in the mail So for the next few projects. And this is actually going to be the rear of the guitar, literally. The rear of the Ghost. And it's actually pretty funny. Like, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna make this three layers of plywood and the thinner plywood, so the, the you know the half inch, more or less, you know the three quarter inch or whatever it is, the thinner wood, and for the top layer, I'm gonna have the hand, the hand bits all the way through, and maybe even to the second layer, and then the the bit for the uh, the top of the head is gonna go through all three layers because you can see on the back it actually goes into the back a little bit right there so that's pretty cool so and then you're going to see the hand there's going to be the contour of this because this is going to be the third level the third sheet and the third sheet i'm going to include there but i'm not going to include the uh, the foot on the first two so it's you're going to see the foot behind a little bit you're going to see the hands in front a little bit and like i said the top of the head's going to go all the way through and then on the back you'll see the foot at the top of course and then the hand slightly recessed behind the red no ghost so yeah so <laughs> we'll be cutting the wood tomorrow for this and then we'll work on it i ordered the parts so the parts are on the way um, and then i gotta figure out where i'm gonna put the active uh the battery i might do it somewhere with a black area that way it kind of blends in and hopefully it doesn't affect anything else in the guitar so but i could always make it anywhere along here i guess it doesn't really matter and i could always call it red worst case scenario so that'd be the only thing as far as input jack i might put the input jack somewhere in this vicinity and it's just going to be just a regular square uh, chrome plate and then in through there and then on the back as far as the, uh, the the access to the the cover, I might just do a white pickguard material, white with the chrome screws, of course, the access panel, just to blend in. So that would be cool. So wherever it is, and it doesn't interfere. But yeah, the ghost is going to be white, and these black bits, and then the red. And I'm not going to make a red outline along the sides, the sides of the you know the anti no symbol. Um, but it's going to be pretty cool. Yep, uh, we're in the drawing phase with the uh, Ghostbusters guitar, and I'll be starting the uh, Pac-Man guitar as soon as the neck comes, because the neck's kind of crucial. Um, I had this neck on hand from that other guitar that I just mailed that I got the other parts I mentioned in the prior video, so that way I could mock it up. And this is going to be a pretty cool size. It's going to be roughly the size of a strap body in a sense, but a little bit bigger because it's, you know, it's a brown circular, but more or less the strap, you know, it's going to be like that girth, the girth of like a strap body. So it's not extremely huge, but it's not really, really tiny either. So, but it's, it's going to be cool. Hopefully it's going to turn out well. And the headstock I'll paint red on the, just the top, and then I'll have the white Raglan logo. Hey everybody, how's everybody doing this evening? I'm pleased to announce that the... Good morning everybody. And nice, ah, eh, kind of overcast day, but pleasant. It's not too hot, it's not rainy. 
Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, getting ready to start to cut the wood on the Ghostbuster guitar. And I was looking at the wood choices I have. I was originally gonna, the plan was gonna go with three of the small, you know, three of the thinner pieces. But even that wouldn't be that thick per se. So I'm gonna go with two thinner pieces and one thicker piece. And I think it's three quarter and half inch. And I'm gonna put the uh, half inch on the outsides, the thicker in the center. And seeing how this is just going to be a uh, strat style bridge where it's just going to be screw in it's not going to have a tremolo or anything like that i think this will work good and i think overall the body of the guitar is probably going to end up being somewhere like an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter uh all together the thick of it and i did all my strats uh stratocasters run about an inch and a half in general so it's not going to be too thick and I don't think it'll be too heavy. I think it'll be just heavy enough to where it won't cause any neck dive. But all right, let me, uh, and the measurements are 23 inches. So I already marked the bottom piece. Uh, got two pieces at 23 inches, and I think it's 23 inches uh, north and south. So I'll cut all three pieces, and I'll be right back. We'll see you in a bit. All right, got all three pieces cut. Like I mentioned in the prior video clip, I'm going to go with the half inch on the ends three-quarter inch in the center and it's gonna be about that but it's gonna have the bits like the head bit is gonna be all three pieces uh, the hands are just gonna be one side or one you know one or the other and the foot's gonna be the other piece so it's gonna be cool and I'll, I'll use uh, the, uh, the bondo to make it perfect looking but yeah these are the, the three pieces of the cut now what I'll do, and I know there's these knots here, but I don't think they'll affect anything and I'll try to minimize them as possible. But let me uh, get all three pieces temporarily attached and then I'll cut out the uh, design and then trace the design and then get that going. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Let me uh, temporarily join these ones together. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, sun's come out. It's looking beautiful out here. Okay, so... I got three pieces of wood to cut, like I said. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the design, the top design. I'm going to cut this out and then put it on all three pieces. And then I'll figure out where I'm going to put the screws. Because I want to put the screws in a place that it's not going to affect anything. And then I can fill them in later. But okay, we'll see you in a second. All right, got the, uh, the shape traced out or cut out of the form and the place on the wood. And I don't know where I got that measurement from. I was measuring 23 inches, but look at that. All that wood I wasted, I could probably... But, you know, okay, I can always buy more wood. And I'll save this wood and I'll use it somewhere else. But, uh, yeah, I could definitely cut smaller pieces. But, yeah. And I'm avoiding all the knots and everything like that. So, I guess, yeah, that's fine. So, all right, let me uh, figure out where I'm with the screw holes. I'm going to combine all these three pieces together. Um, and I did... I gotta make sure that I'm layering in the way that I want them to face, like, you know, the good side out and everything, because I've done that before, where I've had the bad side out and I had to compensate with a bunch of wood filler. But, alright, we'll see you in a sec. Alright, found me some appropriate screws. Now I'm gonna temporarily attach, and drill me some holes that I marked, and I'm gonna temporarily attach all three so I can get it on the scroll saw and cut out the shape. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. Alright, got the... Three pieces temporarily attached. Cool. So now I'm gonna take the template and I'm gonna trace the design onto the piece of wood and then get ready for the scroll saw. All right, we'll see you in a second. All right, got the shape traced out. <laughs> Looks pretty killer. Got the scroll saw queued up. All right, we're gonna cut this out. Fingers crossed this goes smooth. I do got extra wood in case I butcher it, but I think it should be all right. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, how's everybody doing? Got the shape cut out, and it looks awesome. Yeah, template and the shape. The Ghostbusters guitar has taken shape. That is so sweet. All right. So the next step is, um, like I discussed in previous video clips, this is going to go through all three layers. Um, the fingers is just going to be the top layer, and the hand and the top layer. And then the foot is just going to be in the bottom layer. So I'm going to separate these three pieces. And then I'm going to cut accordingly. Like, uh, you know, I'll cut the rest of that and everything like that. I'm trying to think, yeah, I think one layer should be fine for the hand bits. 
Ah, uh, we'll take a look. Yeah, it should be one. It should be fine. I could always put body filler in there to make them round if I have to, but yeah. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got three layers separated again. And seems how the foot is just going to be on the bottom layer. On the top layer itself, I'm going to keep the hand, the, the head, and the other right hand. So I drew a line and I'm just going to cut the, the foot out of the top layer and we'll see in a second. Alright, cut the, the foot off the top layer. <laughs> so the foot will go to the side. Okay, and then on the second layer, we're going to keep the head, but we're going to take out the hand because the hand is just going to be on the top layer. So I'm going to draw, we're going to keep the head like I said, and we're going to take out the other, the right hand bits. So that goes out, that goes out, and we're going to take out the foot, because the foot is just going to be on the bottom layer. Okay, so all that stays pretty much on the middle layer is just the head bits. So we're going to cut out the right hand, the left hand, and the foot. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. Alright, the center layer, we cut out the hand bits and the feet bit, and we kept the head. Okay. So I'm going to put this exactly back on there and trace out exactly where I did cut the hand bits. That way it'll match perfectly and I'll be right and then I'll cut on the bottom. We're going to leave the foot bit, leave the head bit, but just cut out the hand bit and we'll see in a sec. All right. All right. Got the different bits cut the way they're supposed to be. And it does give it that 3D effect. I'm going to join all of them back together temporarily. I should be getting the bridge today. Um, so I have to wait for the bridge to be able to set the neck pocket and get everything exactly like that. So for the time being, this might be all I'm going to do on this today. Um, and we'll pick it back up or later. Going to see uh, Jackal actually this afternoon or this evening. Uh, the band Jackal, the Chainsaw Country Band. And uh, going to do that this evening. So that's going to be fun. Uh, but we'll pick this back up tomorrow. I'm going to join these pieces together. And maybe sketch out uh, just where everything's going to go. That way I can see when I get ready to do the neck. But we'll see in a sec after I attach them. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the conclusion of the work for today. I think this is going to wrap it up for today. And I'll continue tomorrow. But I did put the uh, pencil of the sketch. So I know the layout of where everything's at. On the guitar on both sides. And there's my templates cut out. And as you can see... Like I mentioned before, this is what I was meant. The, uh, the foot's on the bottom layer. Um, the head part goes through all three layers. So as you can see, it goes all the way to the back. And I'll actually take and shape this, make it more round and make it look really cool. Uh, the hand bits are just on the top layer. Let me turn it over. And uh, now you see how the, uh, the hand bits are just on the top. But I'll add some body filler to this. And this is going to be painted white where it's going to be painted red, so it's going to be a really cool contrast. And like I said, I'm going to dremel all the different bits and dremel this a little deeper because that way I'll paint it black. But yeah, the hand bits. But uh, yeah, once I get the, uh, the bridge and everything, it should come in today, then I'll be able to uh, cut the neck pocket and then start working on the wiring. But, so I wanted to show you progress so far of the uh, Ghostbusters guitar build. It's looking pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait to get to paint, actually. Uh, it's been somewhat of a simplistic build. I mean, I'll perfect it and try to make it as perfect as possible. And it's going to go through the wood filler phase and all that other stuff. I mean, it got a long way to go. But it's just the basic uh, wood cutout, and it looks killer so far. So... Hope everybody has a good day, and we will see you tomorrow. Continue on the Ghostbuster guitar. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Working on the Ghostbusters guitar and trying to figure out some headstock possibilities. Uh, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man head is definitely going to be a consideration. I think it'd be really cool. I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller though, and have the tuning keys up here, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then have straight through here and then have it being black and then the red tassel and white blue and then stay puffed in white and you know, white trying to figure out where I'm going to fit my logo headstock logo somewhere in there 
But I think that'd be pretty cool. I was also debating whether I should do like a Slimer um, ghost headstock, but I think the green would throw off the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, just trying to figure it out. And I think I am gonna do Ghostbusters. I'm going to paint it on the fretboard in the Ghostbuster font. So we'll see how that goes. That should be pretty cool. But yeah, still working on it. I'll catch back up with you when I decide something here. But we'll see in a little bit. Huh. Alright, I think I've come up with a final design for the headstock shape. Stay puff marshmallow man. And I might do the stay puff more facing forward like in that one instead of like on the side there. But yeah. And then with the tuning keys, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that'll work out good. And I'll set it like right there. So I'll have to adjust the headstock accordingly, of course. But I think that'll work really cool. I'll have to go with something like that. Mr. Stay Puffed at the front. <laughs> These are so fun to do. All right, let me cut it out and out of the you know the paper template, and let's see how it looks. I'll see you in a sec. Alright, ran out of room there and continue this video. Just wanted to show you how the headstock is going to look. It looks pretty cool. I taped down there temporarily because I'm going to have to cut the little bit parts out of the headstock. But yeah, that's how it's going to look. I think going with uh, Stay Puffed on the headstock is the way to go. Yeah. Because it's going to match the white and everything like that. Now, like I said before, if I were to do Slimer, it'd be green. And this would be red, black, and white. And it'd be kind of throw it off a little bit yeah that's gonna look pretty cool all right let me start working on the headstock I'll get the uh, the scroll saw out and start cutting out the bits and we'll see in a bit all right I figured out how I want to shape the headstock uh, that's gonna be so sweet <laughs> this will be black of course I'll fill this black and I'm thinking about doing just the top layer the color well the go, you know, the guitar itself is going to be front and back, so maybe I'll do the front and the back. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm probably sure I can do it. It's just going to be the straight colors with the the white, the blue, white, and the red. But yeah, and then the tuning keys: one, two, three, four, five, six. And see how it strats down. All right, got the scroll saw out. Got traced out where I need to cut. And I'm going to cut this out, and we'll be right back. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, quick update. I got all my bits cut out. And let me glue them together and glue my headstock and we'll see you in a second. Alright. I got all the bits glued on there and glued together. And I just drew the temporary uh, pencil. And I'm, you know, I'm going to put body filler and fill it in and I'll make it perfect. And even maybe even puff out the face a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that turned out pretty sweet. That's a lot better than the what I was going to use initially, and having this fret so I'd be able to put Ghostbusters on here. But let's see how it kind of pieces together. Let's take a look at the body and the neck together. Let's see what we're looking at. Right. So that's a general idea of what the guitar is going to look like. All right. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Mr. Stay Puffed. <laughs> uh, and, the, you know, of course, I'll paint it all the proper colors, but yeah. <laughs> and here's the tuning keys, the E A D G B E. <laughs> oh, that should be, look cool. Alrighty. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. Next step is to. I'll get that all filled in and make it nice and perfect, but we'll see you in a bit. Alright, got a quick update. Got some body filler. Um, first couple, you know, first layer of body filler on there, make it nice and perfect. Yeah, I'm going to let this harden for a while, then we'll sand it and we'll work on it. And then once we start working on that, till we get to a certain point, then I guess I'm going to make the neck pocket and then start working on the body again. But yeah, it's what the do that while I have that concept. Yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. I think it turned out pretty cool in concept. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, how's everybody doing? Alright, continue work on the Ghostbuster guitar, getting the layout all set up. 
uh, decided I want to put the neck right there and I drawn out the pocket so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna separate the three layers and then I'm gonna connect reconnect the two top layers and then drill out, uh, cut out the pocket and I'll be right back all right we'll see you in a minute uh, all right successful neck cut pocket and it's the right depth and everything is perfect and I don't have to all right and ordered these two bridges from Amazon and one looks like it's like crusty and rusty it's supposed to be brand new and she's crap so I had this other one it looks newer it's a little bit wider but I might decide to just change the uh, paint a little bit maybe hmm, I'm not sure I don't know anyway so the next pockets cut the next thing to do I'm gonna probably attach the two top layers and we'll be right back all right next pocket successfully cut out looks pretty good now I'm gonna get ready to uh, set it up and get ready to cut out the uh, pickup for the pickup cabin. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, traced out where the pickup's gonna go. <laughs> it looks pretty good. All right, let me uh, do some pilot holes and then we'll get ready to get the squirrels fall out and cut out the pocket for the uh, pickup cavity. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Uh, I got a pilot hole for the pickup cavity and where the pedometer's gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna get the squirrels fall out and cut this out. We'll see you in a second. All right, successful cavity for the pickup. It'll slide right in there like so. Perfect. All right, uh, we'll see you in the next step. We'll see you in a second. Uh, all right, um, got the wiring, uh, pretty straightforward wiring on this guitar. It's just from the pickup to the pedometer to the input jack. I've decided to go with a passive pickup on this one, since how, you know, it's going to be 21 frets and like the top uh, probably four or five frets is not going to be reachable. So this is kind of going to be a strumming guitar. So it's going to be great, um, and then I'm going to have to drill the uh, the ground for the uh, bridge. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to drill the ground for the bridge real quick, and then get ready to bore out for the input jack and for the pickup and for all the wiring. All right, we'll see you in a sec. Yeah, all right, successful uh, drill for the wire for the uh, the ground wire for the bridge, and I think that's probably going to do it for today. Um, it's getting kind of late, and the hockey final, Tampa Bay Lightning are on Game 7, so that starts in about an hour. So let me get this cleaned up, and we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Alright, hope everybody has a good night this season.